In this video, I will be demonstrating about RAM Tech SMTP view object from Machine Builder libraries. A quick overview about the object. This object is used to send email and SMS using simple mail transfer protocol. Uses email sender feature of view platform. So the solution is available for products like Panel View Plus, Panel View 5000 and FT View SC. You can trigger the email or SMS from HMI or controller logic. Multiple recipient information can be stored in the object. No change in object or HMI on number of recipients. The HMI has warning status and animations to help user avoid any illegal operations. The object will send email or SMS to one recipient at a time. Here we have a demo application for SMTP view object. I will go ahead and launch the faceplate. A quick overview about the faceplate. This is the home tab with status and warning messages on the top. Few more status indicators. This is the last sent message status and further details. Here in the bottom you see the last 5 events with its status, recipient email id or phone number subject and time. In the page 2 you see the input data received from controller logic which is the id selected, subject and body of the email. In the settings tab you can send message from the faceplate either to the existing recipients or you can enter recipient email id or phone number manually. In the configuration tab you can modify the recipient information from this first page. The second page is about modifying the SMTP server configuration. Here I have already entered the SMTP server configuration for Gmail. Also I have created a user ID machine one line one for this testing purpose alone. In the information tab you can see warning and error code and its related help text. You can also see the server feedback. In the help tab you can see basic help about the faceplate. Let's open the settings tab and send an email from the faceplate. I'll select the OEM support as the recipient and I'll enter the subject of the mail and body. I have entered the subject as MBL test mail and body as hello this is a test mail from SMTP view object. I will trigger the send button to send the email. Now the mail is being sent. Yes we got the feedback as mail sent successfully. I have opened the inbox for MBL SMTP testing at gmail.com. So this is the mail that is received from machine one line one at gmail.com. Let me open the email. So you already saw the subject as we entered MBL test mail and body of the email hello this is a test mail from SMTP view object. Back to the faceplate let's go to the home tab and take a look at the status. So here in the event you can see the last event which was the mail which we triggered MBL test mail and also the last message which was sent. Now I will demonstrate how the mail is sent from controller logic. For this I have two logic written in the controller. One is for batch complete and other is for machine faulted. In both the logic the message body subject is compiled from the controller. Also the recipient id is selected from the controller. First I will trigger the batch complete. Batch complete is being sent. It is sent successfully. Now I will trigger the machine faulted. Again sent successfully. Now in the event queue you can see the first batch complete was triggered and the second is line 1 machine 1 faulted. Let us go to the inbox and take a look at the emails. In the inbox you can see we have received two emails. The first one is SD1234 batch complete. Let us open the mail. The controller logic compile the body with runtime, batch id and batch count. The second email is line 1 machine 1 faulted. 
let me open you can see the controller compiled the body as doffer motor 1 faulted let's take a look at the logic side of the smtp view demo this is the smtp view object the first parameter is the recipient configuration so depending on the number of recipients you want to have in the application you can size the array the second is exclusively for the view designer faceplate which is the vd status the third is the string tag where the subject of the email is to be moved this is the body of the email or sms recipient id to be selected through this tag this is to select if the content has to be sent to the email id or the phone number as sms message timeout configuration and lastly the command to send message there are few status for error and e warning i'll open the message routine which is user defined routine not part of the library so you can see the send batch complete bit has a sequence so first interlock is to be checked is the object is not sending any message then trigger the sequence so step one we assemble the body as well as the subject then select the recipient id here i have selected recipient id as 1000 and then trigger the command send message bit so once we know the object is sending the mail we move to the step three where we check whether the status is send done or status error In this section, I'll demonstrate how to instantiate SMTP view object in application code manager. The ACM already has machine library registered. You need to download the library from Rockwell Automation product compatibility and download center page. I have already created a project and added controller and display. I have also added a program in which we will add the SMTP view implementation. Right click on the program and click add new. In the filter we enter SMTP. So it's easy to locate the object. Now we'll select RMLD SMTP view object and click next. I'll leave the name default because most of the time you only need one instance of this object in a project. We'll modify the recipient array size as 10 because we need 10 recipient information to be stored in the application. I'll leave the message timeout setting as default 15 seconds. Next is to link the navigation display. This is the place where the navigation object for SMTP view will be placed. Select next. Do auto create to create the link library. Now we are done, we we'll click finish. The SMTP view object is now added in the project. To understand further about generating the code and display, watch the basics of ACM workflow video series. I will show you how the email sender feature is configured in FT view and view designer. In FT view, you will get two displays in the attachment. One is the SMTP view faceplate and the second is service display where the email sender ActiveX is placed. A pre-configured email sender ActiveX will be generated from the display section of ACM. Move this ActiveX from the generated display to the service display. The existing ActiveX in the services display can be deleted as it is not configured for the project. I will open the ActiveX. You can see all the connections are pre-configured as per the project created in ACM. The services display needs to be added in the startup. So the ActiveX is always executing.
For more understanding, read through the reference manual. In View Designer, the email is sent using email event. Copy the faceplate and the email event into the desired application and then configure the connections of email event. For more information, download Machine Builder libraries from Rockwell Automation website. Thanks for watching the video.